Assalamu alaikum everybody. Hi there and welcome back to Naza's Kitchen Fun. I'm so happy you guys are all here today because today I'm sharing this real quick and easy recipe for my lemon loaf tea cake. This makes a great treat with all your coffees and your chai or drinks. So let's get started. What I've done is I've buttered and floured a baking pan. I went ahead and shook off the excess flour and I put that to a side. I've pre preheated my oven to 350 degrees. I put the rack right in the middle. Now in a large bowl, what I've done is crack two eggs. Make sure they're at room temperature. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the sugar. And I'm using my hand mixer to go ahead and mix this up, but you can just use a regular whisk and that works perfectly fine as well. So just mix everything up together. Start slow and gradually go ahead and mix it on high speed until you see a nice pale color of the eggs just like this now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and move on to our other ingredients I'm adding in some butter that's at room temperature I'll have all the ingredients down below for you guys so don't forget to click on that and make some of this yummy stuff today now go ahead and mix the butter right into the sugar and eggs until it gets nice and fluffy just like this. Now we'll go ahead and add our other ingredients. Now I'm adding some lemon juice with some fresh lemon zest into this. This is what makes this lemon loaf tea cake really, really delicious, guys. You can taste the lemon zest in there with the lemon juice, and believe me, it's amazing. So after that, add in some vanilla and just go ahead and mix things up together. After you've gotten everything well incorporated, just go ahead and move this to a side and we're going to go ahead and work quickly here. In another bowl, I've went ahead and added my all-purpose flour. I've went ahead and added in my baking powder. Now I'm going to add in some salt. Using a whisk, I'm going to just whisk this together, whisk this together or you can go ahead and sift it, which would be even better. Make sure you don't have no clumps. Make sure that um, everything's mixed up really nice. Now get your batter that you've prepared, the wet mixture, and go ahead and add this right into it, the flour mixture. Using a hand whisk, just whisk everything up together. And your oven should be preheated at this time. Just mix everything up really nice, just like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our final ingredient, and that is milk. So we'll go ahead and add that right into this, just like this. Now just go ahead and mix that in. And mix it all the way until you get a nice, smooth consistency with no bumps or lumps in it. I just decided that I'm going to go ahead and use my hand mixer to get things going a little quickly here. So I just whisk that, whisk that up together just for about um, 60 seconds. And everything became nice and smooth. Now I'll go ahead and pour all this batter right into the baking pan. Now it's definitely up to you if you'd like to go ahead and put anything on top of this loaf cake. You can just leave it just the way it is. What you can do is you can go ahead and put some walnuts, you can put almonds, you can put raisins, coconut, anything that you prefer to do so or that you would enjoy. What I've done is I've just went ahead and added on top some almond flakes right on top of it or sliced almonds. So I'll just go ahead and put that right on top and there it goes guys put it in your oven let it bake for anywhere from about 30 to 35 minutes cool it on a rack and go ahead and after it's cooled cut it and after you've cut it enjoy it with your tea coffees any kind of drinks what I've done is I went ahead and served it with vanilla ice cream and guys it was amazing you guys have to try it in order to believe it stop buying this stuff from the store make it at home because it's extra special and extra delicious let me know what you guys think 
down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, share with your friends and family, and subscribe. So thanks so much for watching guys. Until next time, Khudafiz.